Hi, welcome to our channel. If this is the first time that you found one of our videos, we moved to Australia about a year ago. We're currently on a 482 visa and we've just lodged our application for a permanent visa. We've been documenting our journey for about the last two years, so ever since we came here on our recce trip and then everything in between until the point that we got here up until the present day. So please have a look at the rest of our other videos. We also have an Instagram page and that's The Great Emigrate, so please follow us over on there as well and you can keep up to date with everything that we update you on and follow us along. We're also getting very close to a milestone of subscribers at the moment, so we're not far away from the 500 mark, which is kind of a big thing for us. We didn't think anybody would really be interested. Huh? So yeah, we'd appreciate the subscribes and the shares, that'd be great. It's a bit cringe when I look back at our first videos because we were making them not really thinking that anyone would watch them and um, they weren't really professional no. or anything. Yeah. So, um, I hope yeah. they're getting a bit better. <laughs> we try and prepare now, whereas back in the early days, we would literally just like- Turn the camera on and just talk <laughs> rubbish for 20 minutes. So anyway, we're gonna tell you today all about the things that we as a family have sacrificed to come here and also about the things that we have sacrificed since we've been here in order to have this lovely lifestyle. We also caught up with some of our Instagram followers and uh, received some messages from them about the things that they've also sacrificed so we thought it would be interesting to share what kind of things you have to give up to be able to do this. Just feel free, drop your questions or anything like that to our Instagram account. We're always kind of pretty active on there, aren't we? So posting stuff, so it's always nice to get a bit of interaction and it helps us make some videos if anyone's got any more questions and stuff, so check out the Insta. So our sacrifices, what have we given up to come the other side of the world, start a new life? So what a the sacrifices or something we've given up is stability in life. Obviously, both had decent jobs, senior positions there. So yeah, giving that up has been... It was a risk and yeah, it was a bit of a gamble, wasn't it? You'd been in your job for 10 years and you were coming to a completely different company and different people, even different type of work. For me, although I came with the same company, it was complete again completely different people, completely different country, everything's different. So yeah, you give up that safe thing oh, that yes. you've always known. You know, in everything, I mean everything about the country and, and what you can do and the earnings and yeah, everything like that, all the security literally knowing you've known UK all your life. So yeah, well family, family's a big one. So leaving family and friends behind to come into another country where a few people, but not anywhere near as many as we know, was as well as we know. Obviously, leaving my parents behind was hard. It's really hard emotionally, and you also lose that support. You haven't just got your parents down the road to help you or hop round, or you just they're completely the other side of the world and you have to really think about when you contact them you can't just pick up the phone or text them usually you're awake they're asleep other way around so yeah that is a lot mm. more harder and uh, we've been quite lucky that we could go back a few months ago and visit we're hoping to do that again next year but it's obviously not the same as seeing your family no. all the time. Yeah, it's a good job our technology's in place, I guess, because imagine what it was like before. You could have video calling, that was, you know, send a letter, it's not really... <laughs> by the time you sent a letter, something else has happened, so you'd have to send another letter, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good job for technology, like FaceTime and whatever. So that's kind of a good thing in a way, but yeah, it doesn't replace having them here. So yeah, next we've got giving up the security of owning your own home back in the UK. Whereas over here, obviously we're not buying straight away, so you've, you're renting. So you've only rented once before and it's not really the same, is it? It's not. No, you can't really do the things that you would do in your normal home. You have to get permission, for example, if you want to 
decorate or put, put something up, put a nail in the wall or hang a picture or you have to be privy to inspections so you have to let people in your home to make sure that you're keeping it nice which makes you feel a bit crap really yeah. because... I can imagine there's some people out there that are pretty bad. And I know it's not their fault and they have to do that yeah. and it just... You feel a bit like, oh, like. <laughs> Though it is nice if something breaks, I haven't got to fix it myself. I can just go, beep, that thing's broken. Can you come and replace it? And then they make an appointment. Mm. Or it's just relying on me to do it. Yeah, and we've been lucky as well in this house. The agency that we've used so far have been really good. The owner has been really good in fixing things when they've needed doing. So yeah. it's just not the same as having your own home and just doing whatever you want, whenever you want, yeah. and not having to ask someone's permission or being checked on. So sacrificing, well, sacrificing, having to sell some of those things, obviously... You could bring them over, but most of the time it's not really worth it, so you know, we end up selling them, don't you? Yeah, you can't bring everything, and sometimes you're selling things that are brand new, and then you're really losing a lot of money on them, and yeah, obviously that is a bit of a kick in the teeth, because I feel like you're just losing good money that you don't really need to, but then you can't really bring everything here, so... Oh, it's like when I had like, a garage full of all my tools and stuff, like, I managed to bring... You know, set of sockets and bits and bobs like that, but I had like loads of all the tools and stuff I've been collecting for years and years and you think, oh, I ain't got them anymore and I have to come over here and buy again, which is a bit annoying. So yeah, giving those up in a way is like obviously another sacrifice. But... Yeah. Also, sacrificing your old friends back in the UK, a bit like the family thing. Yes, you can keep in touch on social media, you can have a call, but it's not the same as sitting in the living room together, having a drink, having a laugh. Your best friends back in the UK, we would spend every New Year's Eve with, yeah. like, we were friends, our kids were friends with their kids, and um, the really lovely friendship, which we still do, but now we just obviously don't get to see them until we go back to UK. Um, planning some holidays, um, so yeah, hope we can meet up with them somewhere, but um, miss them just like we miss our family. Oh, yeah, yeah are as well. Isn't it? If you've watched some of our other videos, you'll know that we have still got our house back in the UK, and uh, we're also obviously renting here, and so we've had to sacrifice some things to be able to keep our house back in the UK, and yeah, we've kept that as a bit of a safety net just in case things don't work out until we've got that PR visa in our hand or in our inbox. <laughs> we just wanted to hold on to that, but that does mean sacrificing things. Uh, so what are the kinds of things that we've had to do to be able to maintain that? Well, it's being careful of money and it's not like you could go for nice weekends away. Obviously we will do once we're house free in the UK but yes yeah, you've just got the belt up a bit and you like shopping you've got to kind of watch what you know well, not scrimping and saving really bad but you've got to be a bit more stringent with the the spends I think really. I think back in England you'd think nothing of just picking up whatever you wanted putting it in the sh in the shopping trolley I'm definitely one of them people that would like instead of putting one thing in if it's on offer I'll put quite a few of them in or I'll chuck the odd thing in for like, rainy days so that the cupboards are full up and here we don't do that and I know that probably doesn't sound like a big sacrifice and I know there's a lot of people that are a lot worse off than us yeah. but we're just trying to illustrate the things that we've changed and adapted so that we can be able to do that and so yeah it's about just being careful with what we're spending and how we're spending it. So like we've got little starter cars here and it just something to get us around but obviously if you know me I like my cars so dream is to get something nice and big one day like a big truck or something but yeah so things like that you've got to just tighten the belt ride it out for a bit till the PR comes in we sell the house and then it's things like day trips as well like we might take the kids to the cinema occasionally or bowling occasionally but back in the UK we'd be doing them things all the time and certainly if we were coming here for example we'd have definitely been to places like Dreamworld, Movie World, Sea World. <laughs> 
we haven't been to any of them places yet and I think that's a combination of things. One, we've got the dog and so it's a bit more difficult to get away for long periods of time. But also it's the money thing. Those places are not expensive. It's not like Florida Disney Park prices, but it's not really something we can afford right now when we're paying out for so many other things. Not even using. <laughs> so it's just the, just a few small things and we're really lucky that we have been able to do that and like I said there's a lot of people that are a lot worse off but we're just trying to get by until we get that PR visa and then we feel like things will be easier. Yeah. So going back to our Instagram we've had a few people message us we put, did put like a little poll out asking what people have sacrificed or are going to sacrifice to make the move over here. That's it. <laughs> So there were a few similar answers to the things that we've just been talking about and the main ones are family and friends. Uh, we also had people that were leaving senior jobs to come here. So all very similar. I think it is going to be a little bit similar really if you've got homes back in the UK and obviously friends and family I think you are going to have to make that, that sacrifice. It is tough saying telling your family right well it's been nice living here but we're going to go to the other side of the world and yeah they do take it toughly don't they some families might react different to others obviously ours are very supportive we're really lucky and i i know that obviously you hear lots of stories about families and it breaks them up because mm. yeah people are really angry and upset which is understandable but we're really lucky that we had family that were supportive and have really just helped us and been there for us and yeah yeah so if you're thinking of making the move that's one of the things you're gonna have to think about is what you're gonna give up have you got support have you got enough obviously we've done videos on how much it's gonna cost to come over here so things like that you're gonna have to take into account but obviously it's been worth it just the outdoor life's much better and I think it's just nice getting home from work in the afternoon or whatever and it's pretty much sunny most of the time, all the time really that you might get one day and it might rain for a bit but yeah it's just things like that you're gonna have to just prepare yourself for make the move so if you've enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up and uh, if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and uh, we have enjoyed making this video just to share with you our own personal situation and uh, please drop us a note in the comments if you also are thinking of coming here and have some things that you will have to sacrifice or if you're already here and uh, we'd love to know the things that you also have had to sacrifice to to get here and whether or not you feel like it was worth it or not so yeah, thanks for watching and as usual see you in the next one